On today's video, we're gonna talk about the five things you need to do if you're a brand new agent. Hey everyone, my name is Adam Swartz. This is your first time to my channel. We do everything real estate on here from podcasts, weekly tips, to buyer and seller tips. So if you wanna know more about real estate, click the links below. But today's video, we're gonna talk about the five things I think if you're a brand new agent, you need to do right away. Number one is the moment you make the decision to take your real estate test, start telling everyone you know that you're taking your real estate test and gonna become a realtor. What people don't realize is most people are always like two, three, four months out. So if you start telling them now, by the time you get their license, they're probably ready to go and buy and sell. And then the greatest thing about that is most agents don't close a deal for the first four to five months. If you start working on this a few months earlier, you start building your pipeline before you even have your license. By the time you get into, or into real estate, you'll have an escrow in the first 30 days. Number two is that you have to figure out the best place for you to go work. So when it goes to looking for a brokerage, you gotta figure out exactly what you're looking for and fits what your needs. The biggest mistake new agents make are two things. One, they worry about commission too much when it's like, guys, most agents only close about five deals their first year. So whatever the commission is, you're not gonna be losing that much. So if you go to like a flat fee and you pay really nothing, zero of zero is still zero. If you go work for a team, you're paying probably 50% of your commission, but your signs are taken care of, your leads are taken care of, your website's taken care of, and you're getting coached. So then you'll do more transactions and probably make more money. And then the second mistake people do is you have to remember, these brokerages have people that are in sales to sell you on coming to work for them. So best thing to do is look around, ask people that are already in the industry where they work, because the biggest problem that you do, if you go work for a brokerage that doesn't work out, you're kind of delaying your success at least six to 12 months because you're gonna go in there, get everything going, and it's always kind of hard to leave when you go to a new brokerage because you kind of have to start all your marketing pieces over. The way I picked my brokerage is I worked at a company called uh, Murray Real Estate. It's a kind of a niche uh, mom and pop shop in my hometown. The reason I went there was it kind of fit my style. They kind of let me do what I wanted and uh, they were there just enough support. When I needed a question, they could answer it, but I wasn't someone looking to go to classes every Friday. I didn't want to be on a team and um, I just wanted a little bit of freedom to kind of expand of kind of the agent I am. The third thing that if you're a brand new agent you need to work on is learning the job, right? Obviously you think when you go to real estate school you're gonna learn everything that you need to know in real estate. It's almost the exact opposite. The things you learn in real estate school really don't transfer over into doing deals. So that's why it goes back to number two, finding a good brokerage to work for that's gonna teach you the ins and out of actually doing business. And what I have learned, the more knowledge you have when it comes to the process and how loans work, and things like that, the better off you will be to be able to close clients because you're a little bit more confident, you can answer their questions and you don't really strive away from uh, interacting with people because you actually know what you're talking about. Right, so number four is you have to figure out a marketing plan and you have to figure out something you can do every single day and it's really hard when you're a new agent because everything really costs money. Uh, that's why I really went hard into social media when I first got started because I had an iPhone and I could post on social media for free. Um, a lot of people will get into door knocking and cold calling and postcard kind of the old school style. Those things are all great. Probably the best would be cold calling and uh, door knocking because postcarding does take a lot of money and when you get started, you just don't have that type of money, right? But it goes back to what I said for one, two, and three. One, you need to start telling as many people you know that you're a real estate agent so you can kind of get when you get in there to get started. Two, you gotta know the right brokers to work for that will let you do what you wanna do. When I started working where I was at, they knew I was gonna do a lot of social media and a lot of posting that kind of fit what I was looking for. Then three, get educated so you can make daily content and post as much content as possible. And then four, build up this marketing plan because the name of the game for sales guys is you gotta get in front of as many people as possible. And what people don't understand is it takes so many people you gotta talk to every single day to get one deal. Remember guys, the average agent does five deals a year. So if you wanna be more than average, you gotta do five, 10, 20 more times that they're doing. So find something you can do every single day and that's the way you'll be successful in this real estate game. And my fifth and final thing I think a new agent needs to do right away is find a great lender and title rep and home inspection photographer. Build a team around you, right? Don't just go to lunch with anyone out there. Go find a good person that you will work well with. I have picked my team around me based on what I'm looking for, right? So I got kind of fortunate. Um, Taylor Loop, uh, my main lender, we went to high school together and Joe Galante, my number one title rep, we went to high school together. And I got very fortunate that they're uh, Taylor's top 1% in the United States. Joe is the 
the same thing in title, but the reason why it was so important for me to work with them is that they'd been in the industry a little bit longer than me. They kind of knew more about what was going on and they were able to teach me. It goes back to the thing I said for number three, learn as much as you can so you can answer a lot of questions. So I kind of know just enough about title to get me through title. I know just enough about lending to answer questions, but it's so great to lean on a good team because they'll have the better chance of closing your loans and closing your houses. So uh, the biggest thing is that if you do these five things, I know that you will do a deal in the first 30 to 60 days. And that is the most important thing when you're a new agent is to get that deal in the first 30, 60 days, get that first paycheck and kind of get that momentum going. So then you're not a statistic like everyone else. So remember guys, every week I'm gonna drop a video for new agents. So hit that subscribe button, check out all my videos and always send a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys wanna see next from me. Until next time guys, peace.